And now that he's going to be getting his driver's license, he wants to get a vehicle, and he's looking at the Sunday paper for the pickup truck he's going to purchase. <laughs> he's got $9 in a Folgers can in the bedroom. <laughs> the last truck he looked at was $32,000. <laughs> and I said to my wife, well, that explains his D in math. <laughs> and I will not be the one to shatter that boy's dream. I'll I'll let the car dealer do it, man. I'll, I'll take him down there. Come on, boy, let's go pick you out a truck. Come on. Hey, don't forget the coffee can. And I suggested a used car, a really used car. You know, he goes, oh, hey, I'll never drive a junk. Okay, paper boy. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. What's wrong with driving a junk? I'll tell you something. I've owned a lot of junks in my life. You want to drive stress fee? Junks, man. Cave your quarter panels and cave your bumper. Merging is never a problem. <laughs> Especially if your bumper's hanging on by a bungee cord, man. It's just. People go out of their way to let you slide right in. <laughs> and it's only natural. You got a nice car, somebody hits it, it'll ruin your day. You got a junk and somebody hits it, man. It makes your day. <laughs> Guy that hitches on the you know, phone with his insurance agent, man, and you're on the phone with a travel agent. <laughs> Comes back, is that where I hit you? Oh, no, I bought a home entertainment center with that, Dent. <laughs> you were kind enough to hit me in the Bahamas trip right over here, man. <laughs> yeah, who are you kidding? That repair check is not going for one repair. It's like finding a bag of cash on the side of the highway. Right? 